Toby be good nigga for massa. Don't send Toby away. Toby be good for your hand, boss. You can stay here. Ah, Toby stay. Toby stay. Toby be Why not target the African American community? Why not say then, this is for you. This is for African Americans. Uh, that's not how America works. President Barack Obama has begun new initiatives aimed at helping young American Indians or Native Americans overcome the many challenges they face. Why not target the African American community? Why not say then, this is for you, this is for African Americans? Uh, that's not how America works. That's not how America works. Yo, so we back in here for another edition of your mother and because YouTube be on some bullshit and flag my videos saying that I um, spread misinformation. I'm just going to give you a video based off of the people's feelings about Kamala Harris and or um, Obama and why we don't give a damn about what he thinks and why nobody takes him serious and why he didn't get the, he didn't get the memo he like nobody rocking with you bro anyways i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna just run through it i'm gonna let y'all come to whatever conclusion you want to come to i'm not republican or democrat but i'm nonpartisan. um i'm actually gonna vote for the couch i know it's gonna be some dummies out there talking about oh you should always use your vote not voting is a vote for Donald Trump Actually not voting is actually not a vote It's not a vote for anybody If he happens to win That's because more people voted for him Idiot That's how that works I don't understand how people be <laughs> Making these stupid ass like, If you don't vote for uh, Kamala you, That's a vote for Trump No it's a vote for nobody If he wins that's because he got more votes I would have thought that was obvious In any event I'm going to just roll through it Y'all listen to it and I'm out Will somebody tell Obama that the jig is up? That we do know he is an anchor baby immigrant? That he is not an indigenous black American? That he's a Kenyan American? Okay? And that he, we, we, we don't need none of his lecturing. Okay? He don't need to, uh, to lecture indigenous black Americans. Okay? Sit down, Obama. You don't need to try to blame and lecture black men. So this message is for Barack Obama, Magic Johnson, and all the brothers, Luke Campbell, and all the brothers that they're sending to beat down black men who have woken up and decided to see other options other than 60 years of failure from one party, and that's the Democratic Party. I'm going to be respectful because a lot of these men I admire. I really do admire you for uh, all you've done and all your achievements. But at the same time, my admiration of you is not more important than my family thriving. I don't care if Kamala Harris is a woman. I could think of three other women who would have been better suited for president than Kamala Harris. She's just a woman who is not ready to be president, her as an individual, and it has nothing to do with her gender. She is a mess of a person, and I don't want her leading this nation. I would really like to know why, when it's election season, Obama sees fit to always punch down on black folk, and specifically black men. I am quite befuddled that somehow our community takes the rap for the Democratic Party's lack of reading the goddamn room. And when it comes to the conditions of black folks in the United States of America, no matter who has been in office or even held the majority of Congress, black people's conditions have stayed the exact same and in some areas have gotten worse. And then to use this trope as somehow black men just don't want to see a woman as president is absolutely insane. I have never once seen this party address white men and white women and their complicity in upholding the oppressive systems against black and brown folks in the United States. This is why I'm not mad at people opting out of voting because we have literally fought for the rights of ourselves and everybody else in this damn country and still the finger gets pointed at us. And at the same time, no one is ever willing to put in plans and policies that positively impact black people in America. Barack Hussein Obama, the audacity of you to say to us that we are required and we better vote for Kamala Harris and that we don't 
want to see a woman in a position of power. You are a liar. So I saw Obama talking to the black men. And I just got one thing to say about that. The absolute nerve of him. The nerve of any, the nerve of the Obamas, the nerve of Democrats in general to come out and talk to black men and tell black men what they worried about, what we should be worried about, what our concern is. We worried about you. We concerned about you, Democrat. It, Republican too, man. We concerned about you too. All y'all motherfuckers, man. Politicians in general. Y'all got Y'all got some set of cojones to come out and tell black men what we should be worried about. When the first concern we got is y'all slimy motherfuckers, man. So when I see people like Obama coming out and talking to black men, all I see is an agent. All I see is a wolf. A wolf wearing the skin of my brother. That's all I see. Every time I see a politician in, 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 in black skin come out and talk to us, I see a wolf. I see, I see a creature of the underworld, a, 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 a hell spawn, a demon spawn, coming to steal my innocence. That's what I see. <laughs> Man, fuck this shit. <laughs> fuck this voting shit, bro. For real. Man, if you want to sit your biscuit head ass down somewhere, goofy looking motherfucker, like slender man looking motherfucking ass, like anybody trying to listen to you, bro, you didn't get the memo. The community ain't fucking with you, dog. We ain't fucking with you. We ain't got two words for you. It, yes, we do. Hi and bye. We are not fucking with you, B.O. Like, no, bro. They're going to send your ass to the community like, oh, let me go ahead and chastise the black man. Motherfucker, what? No. We are not fucking with you. We're not. And, and just for that, they sent Magic Johnson. They send yo ass. Oh, and don't forget uh uh Sassy uh Martin, DL Hughley, Ricky Smiley. Like like the list goes on and on. Like really, bro? Al Sharpton ass old old snitching ass, he ain't nothing but a rat. Who's next? We ain't fucking with none of y'all. None of you guys represent a real black American man. Not one of y'all. If anything, y'all represent what it means to be a goddamn sellout. No!